Hey guys, how's it going? It's Epic. In this video, this will be a little bit different. I'm not doing an experiment on FIFA 17. This time, I'm doing a little wish list for FIFA 18 based on what I do as experiments because that's kind of the main thing I'm doing right now. But I do want to do different things alongside my experiments. So don't get worried about me making different videos now because I will keep doing experiments at least once a week. Okay, so the first thing I want to do on here is to say to make all the teams and player stats viewable for every league even if you don't manage them that'd be pretty cool so let's say you manage in a premier league you can see stats for every single other league so even the championships you can see top scorers assists the stats for every single player in each team you know the cups and all around the world like you can see the german fa cup whatever it is called over there that'd be pretty cool you could then see you know arsenal getting thrashed by Bayern every every year in the champions league <laughs> um no offense the arsenal fans it's a joke uh, you can you can see you see that if you're managing any MLS, so it makes you, it much more immersive as you would do in real life. But to see all those stats, but for some reason in FIFA you can only see the stats for the nation or the leagues that you're managing in, which is really frustrating. Number two is to be able to go unemployed. That would be pretty cool if you could start it off unemployed. Maybe you had a reputation rating on, in the game, so you could go from being unemployed and then getting a job lower league, maybe a Morgan, whatever, or Accrington Stanley, or some other lower league club, and then working up the ladder by playing and doing well. But they would have to incorporate the other thing as well to help me out if you could make all the teams and players that's viewable. So if you're unemployed, you could not see anything, then that would be pretty pointless for me. But it would be pretty cool if you could do it like both together anyway number three will be in the player career mode now before i would lo love to do a career mode experiment on the player career mode so i would have say messi i changed some of his stats around and i could specifically view messi in a certain way and see his in-depth statistics and really sort of have a great experiment just on the one player but for some reason in fifa 17 or any other fifa really when you simulate as a player in player career mode, that player does not play. He just sits at home, eating crisps, having a beer, watching TV. He doesn't play football. He's not on that pitch. And the only way you can get him on the pitch is by playing matches. Now, that's not an experiment. That's me playing the game, which is not right. Uh, so it'd be great if I could simulate it and still have him playing the games, maybe based on his match ratings from past games, average form, or something like that. Maybe his rating. Okay, next one, number four. We're getting halfway through now, a no judgment mode, that's how I call it, or like a no objectives mode. Do you feel like you've got all these objectives, and if you don't meet some of them, you just get sacked? It's awful. Even if you win the league, you get sacked. It's really, like on the Brighton video I did recently, I came like in the top three every season and got sacked after two seasons, I think it was. That's ridiculous. So if you want to just have a chilled out career mode, or like me, you just don't want to get sacked in your career mode, have to, uh, no judgment mode so you can't get sacked and there's no objective. So you can just do your objectives and do what you want to do in the career mode. Number five is the ability to edit club stats. That will be so cool. What about if you could edit the amount of money a team has, their transfer budgets, their stadium? What if you could edit the amount of season ticket holders it has so you can guarantee a certain amount of fans each game? So you could make Morecambe or Aquinton Stanley, some little team, have a million seat stadium and then have a million fans every game and see how much money they get from that and see what they can do with it. Number six could be having more realistic transfers. The amount of times I see a top player, a world-class player, moving on a free, which just never happens really in football that much unless it's really old. Or you get a team with really poor players and they don't want to improve their squad. They maybe improve it slightly and they don't really improve it based on the amount of money and reputation that club has. That's really unfair, especially when I, when I did my Juventus video with every player only being one rated, they got the loan players in, but they didn't buy anybody else in afterwards. It was stupid. No transfers in so many years I did it. You know, if you were a team like Juventus, you'd think you'd buy loads of players in, but for some reason the transfers are so unrealistic that I think it's based on the, the overall rating or over, average rating of the squad. So if you've got, say, 60 average rating, you maybe buy players at a certain percentage higher than that in terms of rating, because if you've got one rated players, then you can't buy anybody because the next players up are like in the 40s and 50s and then they, 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 they don't fall into that percentage. That's what I think happens. So maybe changing that would really help it make it more realistic in the transfer market and make it much more fun. Number seven, last but not least, disable the loans feature because sometimes I just I just want to get rid of the loan players. They just come into the club and ruin it. They get it, they crash the party really. It's not fun. Go away. I don't want, I didn't invite you. Just go away, please. Uh, if there's somewhere I can disable that, maybe, somehow. 
or stop them coming back or maybe recall them and then get rid of them. I don't know how, but get rid of the lone players so it would help me make a more realistic video. Also, number eight, what if I could see the subs and reserves of all the teams that, that you can see? You know when you import team sheets and you can see their starting 11? It would be pretty cool if I could see their subs and reserves but because sometimes you get a player, he gets injured or he just gets dropped for whatever reason and he's not appearing on the starting lineup. You're thinking, well, this team isn't very good. How are they winning the league? Well, actually, they've got lots of players who are very high rated in their subs and reserves that you cannot see. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking that was pretty cool if you could have that. But anyway, guys, that has been my FIFA 18 Experiments wishlist of what I think would really, really improve the career mode in the new game, hopefully, if they implement some of this stuff. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Something different today. I'm going to try and do something completely different as well. A brand new series when I get 10,000 subscribers and start showing my face. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Because I think this will be quite cool alongside my FIFA 17 experiments until the new game comes out. Then I'll do FIFA 18 experiments. Anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe and leave a like and comment down below your feedback. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.